We got Villa. Let's go. We're also on defense first, which is nice. I love starting on defense. But I, f I feel like I never start on defense. I don't know. You guys will let me know. Do you guys start on defense or do you start on attack more? It's like, if you guys watch my streams, which you guys can find the link to that in the description, I like pretty much only start on attack. It's actually really unfun. If the game is so defender sided for the most part, especially just in like ranked and like when you start on attack, it's it's usually like an automatic like 0 02 score count. It doesn't always happen like that, but it's how it happens a lot just because like you are playing against like a defense site that they're supposed to win. You know what I mean? So it, it's kind of rough. Also, I forgot to turn it on, but I got the hand cam here. It's a little bit dark, so I apologize for that. But uh, luckily, the sky pad here is deflecting some of the light. So it's not quite as dark as if I was using a cloth pad right now, which is nice. You guys should check out the sky pad. The link is in the description. Use code SHOCK. Get 10% off. It's a really good pad. I've been promoting it for a few months now. Thoroughly enjoy it. It's a 100% glass pad. The uh, friction is, well, done. There, it, it's frictionless. There's no friction on this mouse pad. You compare it to like a cloth pad here. Um, it's it's a night and day difference. I know you guys can barely see, but uh, it's it's a night and day difference. Trust me. See, I can get a little bit of view here on the cloth pad. It just doesn't glide the same. See what I mean? So yeah, if you guys are are interested in taking your aim to the next level, check out Skypad. The, the link area. is in the description. Use code Shock. Get ten percent off. Same with G Fuel as well. It goes hand in hand with Skypad. Use code Shock. Get thirty percent off on your next G Fuel order. Oh my god, I almost just one-tapped Alibi. That would have been really bad. It was not my intention, but it almost happened. I hate how that, like, pot on the balcony out there is, like, indestructible nowadays. It used to be one bullet would destroy it. What is that flashbang, bro? Like, what's that doing? Oh, I see what it's doing. What are these guys doing? Trying to push main stairs now, that's what they're doing. Damn it, he saw me. Wow. A ballsy grenade. I'm getting out of here now, actually. Excuse me. <laughs> Buck is coming in from underneath. I held that as long as I could. Actually, do we have a mirror window on this? Oh, we do. Alright, well, I could probably actually hold this for longer then. I didn't know that. We're trying to buck underneath for the mirror window is what's happening right now. They're pretty unsuccessful. I think they've mostly all rotated underneath. They're gonna probably do like a red push, be my guess. All gonna push red stairs. I'm gonna go play and study. Oh, let's go. Wait, there's actually one on main. I think they're both rotating main. Gotta stay hidden. Uh oh. So, it's got to stay hidden, ladies and gentlemen. We had the positioning. Definitely need to up my sense a little bit. I've been playing Apex, and I'm not sure what my sense is on Apex compared to Siege. I haven't done the conversion. Really need to, because um, Apex, I, I'm definitely playing on a different sensitivity, and it's kind of throwing me off because I barely play Siege. I really only play Siege for about five maybe 10 hours per week so i really don't play anymore my aim is kind of lacking of course having like a different sensitivity is not helping me not doing me any favors really no one's pushing by study side that's interesting yeah like right there when i came off the window i was spamming three which in apex uh puts away both your weapons and you run faster so i just did that of course that's not a thing in siege <laughs> All right, goes that guy. They are indeed below. Lots of damage done on that guy. I'm wondering if he's gonna rotate main. There was a guy over by library over here too. Oh, damn it. Come on, we're still in this. Let's go, baby. Still in this. No! I, I missed my headshot. It's all good. Mute's got the refrag, right? I mean, Claps got the refrag. I, I was really hoping Mute was going to help me a little bit more than he did there. 
That's all good. I should have hit the headshot. I just missed. The zombies got this. Yep. Nope. Nope. Well, you guys got it. Somebody's got to have this, right? Where's the last guy? That's sledge dead, but where is this last guy? He was all the way in in living. What is he doing in living? <laughs> yeah, the, like sledge is in a 1v3 right now, and this guy's just in living, like lounging on the couch. Like, what are you doing, bro? Yikesy. Scoreboard check. Four kitties so far. Let's keep it up. Want to keep that up. Yeah, but let me know in the comments if you guys like to see more Apex clips. I was putting them in some of my gameplay videos because uh, I was just playing like so little of Siege that I actually like I was running into a period in Siege where I actually didn't have any clips. Like it would be, you know, 10 a.m. on any given day and I would have to upload by 5 p.m. And I literally would have like two clips, but I would have like, you know, a dozen different Apex clips. So it was like. Well, I'm going to go play Siege for a couple hours, hit as many clips as I can, and then like fill like the latter half of the video with Apex clips. And like it got it got mixed uh, opinions, um, at least for the first few videos. But then like people were requesting that I upload Apex more. And then when I stopped doing it, because I haven't done it in a few weeks, um, people were actually asking why I stopped. And they're like asking for dedicated Apex videos. So, but I've never like directly asked my audience if you guys would like to see more Apex. So, you have to let me know down in the comments. Probably wouldn't do any sort of uh, full Apex dedicated videos. Not yet, at least. Um, but if you guys showed interest in it, I would definitely put some Apex clips at like the end of my videos. So. If you guys uh, want to see more Apex, maybe stick around to the end of the videos. You guys might be seeing some more Apex clips in there. Depending on the, uh, the feedback you guys give me. Oh, I hear people this time. They're all repelling up to study, though. This is not good. That's so. That's Jackal. Come on. That's Twitch. <laughs> All right, need to reload desperately. Want to heal up though. Jaeger's got me covered if I heal up one more time. You got me, Jaeger, you've got me. Let me reload, buddy. I'll handle this. Oh, he got smoked. He got smoked, ladies and gentlemen. Where's this last guy at? Op four has located He's in sight. This guy's in the bomb site. Just said enemies found bomb B. This this guy's balls deep in the bomb site right now. We should have bomb though. Oh, he's China. All right, he's done. Oh, what an interesting round, ladies and gentlemen. Eight and one so far though. We take those. Absolutely. Yeah, man, that's the power of this sky pad, bro. I, l listen, I'm telling you guys. I okay, so like. I was using the sky pad a lot when they first shipped it out to me. I really liked the pad. I went to a cloth pad. I went to a HyperX XXL and a lot of you guys were asking why. I'll tell you the reason why. I was trying a much uh, slower sensitivity and I wanted some more control. I felt like my sensitivity was too fast uh, at that time. So I was using a slower sense and I wanted a slower mouse pad to match it. But I got to tell you. I've been back on the sky pad for maybe like three days, four days. And dude, I miss this thing. I, like playing on it recently. I, I just don't understand why I went back to a cloth pad. Like realistically, it is just so good. The like tracking is so smooth when I'm moving my mouse across the pad. There's no jitters or anything that you get with the cloth pad. There's no friction. It's just this smooth, perfect motion it feels like i'm moving my mouse on a cloud it's amazing actually amazing yeah you guys should check that out uh link in the description code shock get 10 percent off your sky pad also use code shock 30 percent off for e field the links to those are in the description use those in tandem that's what i've been doing definitely seriously in improves your gameplay but yeah if you're serious about like improving uh getting a better mouse pad like a sky pad it's worth the investment man like the mouse pad's a little bit expensive right but you have to think, you're never going to have to replace this mouse pad. If you get like a cloth pad, right? Like a HyperX XXL, this which is what I have. Um, it gets dirty and you have to either replace it. Uh, we, you basically have to replace it. Even if you clean it, it's not going to be the same consistency that it was when you first bought it, right? You're basically buying one mouse pad for life. With sky pad. Really nice. Uh, I think they've got a cap gun. My teammate just got downed. Already have top main control. Yo, someone gonna res this guy? Capita? 
I wanted to put a claymore here so we don't get swung. There is no uh -oh. What the f I'm on close, I feel like. The diffuser has been Rook. Another one. Ah, uh, you know, I shouldn't have re-swung it like that. No, oh, the Capkin trap, Fettuccini. This guy that went crazy, bro. I think this guy had two downs at the cap gun trap. Man, I, you know, I, I went to swing the door there and then I had re-swung and I, I, I wasn't fully ads I wasn't fully committed to the swing. So I don't know why I re-swung. That was a mistake on my end. It was, it was awkward too. Like my teammate and I were trying to share the same angles. There was a mute flanking us on main stairs and I was trying to hold it, but he was trying to hold it. So like I couldn't really hold it or I'd kill him. And then at the end there, like him and I are trying to share the same door, peeking the same guy. So it just made for an awkward gunfight, to be honest. Yeah, I'm getting into, uh, getting into like the aiming fundamentals on like, like in regards to like how to aim better. Um, so I might make a video on that soon. Let me know if you guys are interested in like uh, an aiming tutorial sort of video. I might make that soon. One of the things I did is I bought a new desk. It's a motorized desk. Um, cause posture is really important when you're aiming. A problem I have is like right now I'm on my tippy toes um, because like putting my feet all the way down isn't comfortable because my chair is too high but it's because my desk is at an awkward level that I can't get it right you know what I mean so I bought a motorized test to help with that hopefully my aim improves for the videos so you guys uh, see some better clips here soon my aim feels really awkward right now can't lie may not look awkward to you guys but to me I can tell it's off Oh, I knew he was gonna come up main. I just missed the shots. I saw my teammate die down there and I was hoping I could catch him. Look, All right, look, where look. is the bomb site? I think it's kitchen. It has to be kitchen. There's no way they went living room. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Got that cap gun again. We gotta be careful of. Make sure no one's ratting. All right, all right. So they got the Rooney traps. So Jaeger, Alibi, got it. Wish I had some sort of uh, soft destruction. I wish I was sludge. Was it this interesting? Located a bomb. Four lines off where you're standing. Pizzer is no longer in possession. No! Yo! Fettuccini! This guy is the Capcan GOAT! Ladies and gentlemen, this guy is the self-proclaimed Capcan legend. Let me tell you, this guy is dis dissecting our team at every point, man. I'm going to be totally honest with you guys as well. I, I heard my teammate blow up to the Capcan trap there. A hundred percent. I thought he died, man. Maybe, maybe it was me, Capital, or whoever it was, and another of my teammates in that 3v2. But I genuinely thought I only had one other teammate alive with me there. And I thought he died. So when that Capcan trap went off, it blew my mind. And then, of course, I walked straight into one as well. Like, bro, this guy is tearing us apart, man. He has four kills, and I, I, I genuinely think, like, three of them are Capcan traps. Like, it's unbelievable, bro. This guy is actually crazy. But, like, to be fair, Villa is one of the best maps for Capcan. Like, if you guys don't know, like, this map is genuinely insane for Capcan. And, you know, they actually, they played that shot really well there. They opened up the wall that I walked through, and I, I thought I was totally in there. I thought I was good to go. But they had the Capcan traps there, and they, they lured you into a, a false sense of security with the entrance there. So, I mean, hey man, he, he's playing it pretty solid, bro. You gotta give it to him. This guy's giving me a run for my money with the uh, Capcan legend title here. All right, it's three to two. Let's not, let's not throw anymore. Let's try to win this here. No more throwing, we gotta win. I can already see myself throwing in some form this game for this round and then someone in the comments saying, Chalk, don't throw. Chalk, five seconds later, throwing. <laughs> like, I, I can already see the comment. Oh, they've got an alibi. That's always annoying. Oh, we're just hopping in here, huh? All right. Where they at though. Oh, nice shot. He got me there. I clicked, but the uh, server didn't register it in time. Oh, good. Two v four. I think we're going to OT, guys. I hate to say it, but I think we might go to OT here. I'm cooling off, and we're starting to lose rounds. And uh, Capcan and, and Finca, or uh, Capitan and Finca here are not pulling their weight. 
Oh, here we go. That's what we need right there. Yo, Sludge looks like he's crazy. 1v3, he's got this, low key. If they can throw him gunfights here. Turn around, turn around, turn around. Oh, no. You should have hugged that stall. Damn, it's all right. We're going to OT, ladies and gentlemen. What an absolute catastrophe, some may say. Uh, I'm actually going to go Sludge. I... I just, I feel like the, uh, the L85 is calling to me right now, so. See what it has to say. Alrighty, look, sounds like Jackal just about to go in through this door here. Area. Don't care at all. Ash is already in as well, and she's just dead, bro. Fettuccini is really turning up. I mean, he's really only 5 and 4. <laughs> so he's not playing, like, accurate. Like, don't get me wrong, he's playing pretty good, but. It's mainly these traps, man. You see for the wall. I gotta watch for traps. We're falling apart, guys. It's already a 3v5 a minute in. There we go. That's what I needed to see. Where is this Jaeger, bro? You have located a bomb. Oh, the timing! I thought it was further down the stairs. He's running away. I honestly I might be safe if uh oh, he needs to swing out. Hero needs to swing out and kill this bandit. Oh, he's right on me. Down to one friendly. Damn, he had to swing out board to save me there. Man, I'm really cooling off, chat. This is unfortunate. We're 11 to 5. I mean, I, I'm playing good still. It's just the past few rounds, I haven't, I haven't been doing that well. It's all good, though. Last seen bar. Hero's going off. I think he's on the left on the stairs. Wait, or he's no, close he on the wall. Close on the wall. Close on the wall. <gasps> oh, no. He panicked. I'm so sorry. He panicked. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. Bro, the aim from both of them was awful. Was far, but, uh... Someone just DM'd me on Instagram. I don't, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it. Yeah, I don't know how well you guys can see it, but you just asked me, how do you spin your mouse so fast? What is it that you have under your mouse? Man, it's the Skypad, bro. It's what I've been telling you guys about all video. That's how you do it, man. Yo, you guys have to let me know in the comments. Did I start playing bad after I upped my sense? <laughs> is that what happened? I wonder if I upped my sense and I started playing bad. I don't think that's what happened. But I'm just not remembering. I just like upped my sense by like five or something like that. And then I, and now I've just like started playing bad the past few rounds. Oh, his drone was right there. I wonder if he saw me. Oh, guys. Oh my God, get me out of there. Sorry, I had, I had to lock in. I couldn't talk. I was so worried about dying. I heard him right there last second. Put him up. I don't need to get healed. Oh boy. And a little bit ahead of myself. Sorry, I'm like locked in right now. Trying to get us to 4-4. To four four. I want to swing, but I know it's the bad call. God, I want to swing so bad. I just want to, just want to walk in front of the door. Oh no! Down below in library. Yeah, I heard that. I was running towards the guy in library that he just One called out. I, I didn't know this guy was on the window. No, this Jack might be GG, time. guys. I mean, we went 12 and 6. That's still a 2 KD, so I mean, I'm happy. One just that. ran out of astronomy. I would have liked to have won the game, though. Uh, unlucky. It's all good, man. It's all good. Listen. Fettuccine on the other team chalked our mentals is what it was. Wally might have had 10 kills, but Fettuccine was the two, the true hero of their team. All good though, GG's. We played well, that's all we can ask for. Really, we were kind of in a 3v5 low key. Don't don't tell Lily and, and Clappers that, but they kind of kind of didn't pull their weight. Yeah, uh, if you guys enjoyed, uh, remember to subscribe, like the video, would mean a lot to me. Comment down below if you'd like to see more Apex content, and remember to check out G Fuel and Skypad with the links down below in the description. Use code SHOCK, get 30% off G Fuel, 10% off your next Skypad, and also you could use code SHOCK to get up to $250 off your next Apex gaming PC if you guys are interested in that. But thank you so much for watching, have a great day.